My name is Boyd Carter. I'm uh, originally from Petty Harbour, Newfoundland, and uh, I'm working now at NEAL here in the heated warehouse at Topsides through Teamsters Local 855. I've been posted throughout Canada uh, from the east coast of Ga in Gander to uh, Massett, British Columbia, uh, far, as far north as Canadian Forces Station Alert, which is about 400 kilometers from the North Pole and uh, was lucky enough to get a deployment to Hawaii where I worked with the United States Navy for four years. I deployed many places uh, to China and Japan on board HMCS Huron in 1988. Uh, I got to go to uh, Australia for a two-week uh, training exercise. I've also deployed to Bosnia in 2000 and three times to Afghanistan and one stint in Iraq. Initially, my, uh, my job search was uh, difficult, to say the best. In March, I uh, was lucky enough to meet Mr. Dave Pierce. He's the president of local 855 Teamsters here in Newfoundland. And we spoke about a program that he was trying to get off the ground called Helmets to Hard Hats. A number of years ago, the American Building Trades Councils and the Canadian Building Trades decided to try to do something for veterans. Uh, military veterans and they, they set up this program where we would try to uh, put veterans who were finished their service into the construction industry. Initially when I was hired on the project we met with a number of the unions within the building trades uh, to talk about the achievement of the diversity goals for Hebron project. So there's been goals set for employment for people with disabilities, women, visible minorities and Aboriginals. NEL's role in employing the first person under the Helmets to Hard Hats program has really been from a leadership perspective in seizing the opportunity uh, once we were uh, made aware of the, the program and uh, moved quickly to bring Boyd in as part of our team and uh, it's been a wonderful experience. The Helmets to Hard Hats program is a truly unique program within Canada and Hebron is privileged to take part in that program and to help facilitate people like Boyd Carter entering workforce after his government service. Boyd Carter himself, from a perspective of leadership and teamwork, is a truly fantastic example of a skill set which we as a project seek. That is, we are interested in people who are highly resilient, determined for, to succeed, and more importantly, focused on teamwork and leadership. And Boyd Carter is a great example of that. I would highly recommend you know, others to, to really get a better understanding of what this opportunity presents and to really take advantage of it as we have done with Boyd. Safety in the Canadian Armed Forces is something we do daily, especially if you're on a range or something like that. This was my first experience working in a construction environment, and I'm amazed. From orientation to toolbox talks in the morning to just a, a safety stop throughout the day, they, they're doing safety every day, all the time. Inclusion and diversity leads to a better workforce. By having a diverse workforce, we draw upon the local community's skills, knowledge and background, each of which brings a unique perspective to the site. Those perspectives combined make the site safer. For myself, the future I'd like to see is to continue to work with NEAL and the Teamsters Local 855 for as long as, as possible, for as long as they'll have me. For My real reason for being here is to promote Helmets to Hard Hats. I'm a soldier reaching out to other organizations, other unions, trying to say, these people returning home from, from theater, from Afghanistan, from wherever, they could be injured, but they don't necessarily have to be. They might just be retiring after 30 years in the military. They bring a lot to the table. Boyd's hiring on site, you know, to meet sort of our goals for employment for members of diverse groups and the Helmets to Hard Hats program objectives is a great example of good teamwork. We had people who came together from the operator, subcontractor, principal contractor, and the union. Um, and we all worked together to make this happen. And to have been a part of that team, to me, is extremely rewarding. What I would like to see for Helmets to Hard Hats is that it, it, it expand, it grow. Uh, I'm almost at the end of my ride, and I've been given a great opportunity. If if by this little chat that we've had today, some other organization or union picks up the ball and starts to run with it, then, then everybody will, will benefit in the end. 
the organizations themselves, the employers, and the soldiers.